In this video, I'll show you how you can secure your WordPress website by just adding one simple plugin. Coming up. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where I create videos related to WordPress, social media, search engine optimization and everything that can help you simplify your online business. So if that sounds something interesting to you, then make sure you click on this subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. All right. So in this video, we are talking about how to secure your WordPress website by just using one simple plugin. Now I install this plugin plugin on all of my website and I have mentioned that in the previous video as well. If you have not seen that video, here is the link in the i button where I mentioned the 10 free plugins that you should use when you are using a WordPress for your website. Alright, so here's the plugin which I always use on all of my website and that is iTheme Security and which was earlier known as better wp security so let's go ahead and download it and i'll walk you through how you can secure your wordpress website using this plugin all right so for that we go to plugins add new all right so we go ahead and search for i theme here you don't have to write the full i theme securities once you write i theme in the search bar it will show the first plugin in the list so here is the plugin we need to add so we click on activate all right so now our plugin is activated let's go ahead and check the settings so here is the item security here added in our plugins we can go to settings from here or we can just go from the left menu and click on security so as we have just installed this security plugin for the first time on this website it's asking us to run the wizard so that it can do the basic security settings by itself so let's go ahead and do that we click on secure site and that's it technically your wordpress website is now secured you don't have to do anything else and iTheme security is now on autopilot to secure your wordpress website but it's better we go ahead and take a look at what are the other settings that we can do using iTheme security so let's go ahead and check that so the first thing here is joining the network brute force protection it asks your email address to get yourself added in the network brute force protection thing so whenever someone try to hack your website it notifies iTheme security and they will be able to add that in their brute force security network to keep that updated with the new kind of hackers and new style of hacking so you can go ahead and add your email address here they won't bombard you with sales or pitchy emails so i just go ahead and activate network bruce force protection all right so that's it your website is now secured and here are the things i think security added in our website so let's go ahead and check each and every setting once again let's click on close all right so here's we are in the setting tab of iTheme security and let's go ahead and check uh, all the options available so here is a security check wizard that was running when we added the plugin for the first time after that we have global settings let's go ahead and check that all right so here it's asking your permission to write few files on your wordpress website so it's definitely required so let, make sure you have a check mark here the host lockout message we don't have to edit any lockout message whenever it's blocking someone so let it be default one so what message it will show when a user is logged out or it blocks any user so this is a message the user will be shown once they are trying to hack in the website so I, i'll leave that as well default so these are the some custom messages that it will show once any login uh, any hacking attempt is happening on your website so i leave it as it is so this is an option it says blacklist repeat offenders so if someone is doing some shady stuff on your website or from an ip address so it will actually ban that once they recognize that this is a repeatable pattern that they are doing on the website so it's immediately block that ip address and the blacklist threshold will be three logouts. So the IP number will be banned permanently from this site. If a user or an IP address locked out from the website three times, it will permanently ban that IP address. And that lockout period will be seven days. And the lockout period will be 15 minutes every time when they try to do some shady stuff. 
So I'll leave all these settings as it is. So if you have your own IP address and any other developer or the designers trying to log in in your website, so you may want to add their IP address in the whitelist. But I generally do not add that because if you or any developer is working on website with you and they already know the login details and they can easily log in in the website. So you do not have to add a whitelist here. So I just go ahead and save settings and we will move on to the next option is notification center. It will help us here. We can enter our email address where all the security notifications or alert messages will be sent. If you have more than one administrators, you can select as per your need. Right now, I just go ahead and select my name because I want the notification to be sent just to me, not anyone else. And you can define an email address here. So I leave it blank. So this is an option which is asking us to enter a backup notification. I generally do not use iTheme for backup. We will be using a separate plugin for backing up our website. I'll create a separate video for that. So make sure you get subscribed and get notification bell on so that you will be notified whenever we create that video how to back up a WordPress website so let's go down all right so here is an option it says security digest how many how many times you want to get emails about the security digest or happening on your website so I'll keep it once a week so once a week it will send a report that what happened on your website in this week so weekly is more than enough site lockouts so this one is the email that you will get once anyone try to hack on your website and I think security locks him out. So I will not enable this because you will be bombarded with emails if you if your website get popular and people try to hack in or just try to do some shady stuff. So it will happen eventually once your website get popular. So I'll keep it disabled so that I won't get disturbed with all the site lockout notifications. So let's go ahead and save that. All right. So next option is 404 detection. I would enable that for sure. Let's see what the configuration says. So permanently banned. Yes. Whenever someone try to search for pages, which are actually not present on the website, just permanently ban them. So minutes to remember 404 error. I will say five minutes is okay. Error threshold. I would reduce that to five. I won't allow anyone to search for more than five times for any file or anything which is not actually present on my website. And there are some files and things which you want to keep it whitelisted because they will might be used by other plugins. So I will leave it as it is as well. And these are the files which we will keep it as ignored because your images and other stuff will be required by Google bots and people also can easily search for the images present on your website. So that's fine. So I'll save the settings here. Next option is away mode. I will also enable that. And if I configure that now, when we are on the setting page of this away mode, you need to make sure that this date and time is as per your local time. So if that time is different, you will be in a big mess. If you are like me sitting in India and your server or your website time is set to a US time, then you won't be able to log in into your website on, during the daytime. So type of restriction daily. So daily starting from this time and ending to this time, no one should be able to log in in the website. So click on save. All right. So next is banned users. Let's go ahead and check the configuration. So here's a website or kind of a network which keeps a record of all time shady people and the IP addresses and the servers which try to do shady stuff all over the world. So they keep a database there and iTheme will refer that database to make sure that none of them are trying to hack your website. So it's a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and check that. Band list. If you have any band list of host or IP addresses that you want to block from your website, you can add it here and you can refer to the description mentioned below how you want to block a particular IP or IP range. So I generally don't use that. So if you want, you can enter the IP address or the server address which you want to block ban user agents. So once again, I do not do that. Once again, you can leave it as it is. All right. So database backups, I do not do that. So I will be disabling that because we have a separate plugin for doing the database and the file backup. 
So next is file change detection. I would highly recommend that you enable that. Let's see the configuration. So it will automatically scan the files and the uh, different folders of your website and see if there is any change in the file system or anything added to or any change in the code of your file. So it will notify you whenever any change happen on your website in the file system. So this one is very helpful at the time when there is a hack in your hosting server and they used to add some extra files on your website and some extra code gets added in your function.php WordPress file or any other file. So this is the setting that you need to turn on to make sure that you get notified whenever there is a change on your file system of website. Next is file permissions. Do not touch that. Let it be as it is because you will be in a big mess if you play around with it. Local brute force protection. Let's go ahead and check the settings. Permanently banned for sure. If you try to attempt login into my website, you should be permanently banned. Number of logouts before permanent ban, three. So let's go ahead and check the settings below. Maximum login attempts per host. I would say two because I know that besides me, there is only one person who logs into my website. So we both know passwords very well. So I will reduce that login attempt to two. Maximum login attempt per user. Once again, I'll keep it to minimum as possible. I am the only one who is logging in the website and I know my password. Minutes to remember bad login. So I will keep it on the higher end so that I will be able to block someone who is trying to hack my website for a maximum number of minutes. And this one is very much required. You need to immediately ban people who are trying to log in into your website using admin as a username. This is the most popular method of people trying to hack into your website. They will try to use admin as a username and try the various combinations of password. And if they try to use admin as a username, they will get permanently banned immediately. And before that, make sure you do not have username of your website set to admin, administrator or something like that. Never ever do that. Make sure you have a custom login username for your account. Do not ever use admin or administrator for login into your WordPress website. So once we are done with that, let's go ahead and save settings. Next is network brute force protection. Let's configure that. Here is our API key which will be synchronized with the network of iTeam security and other reliable systems that iTeam security is running. So it will automatically ban the people who are from the network and which are trying to log into the website. So that's perfectly fine. Let's click on save. Leave it as it is. Password requirements, I would not enable that because I don't want a plugin to tell me my password is secure or strong or not. I make sure that all of my passwords are very secure and very complicated. So I never enable that. So let's go ahead and close it. SSL, I, you can enable that if you do not have any other plugin to force SSL on your website, but I'm using SiteGround and uh, there is a separate plugin SG optimizer, which makes sure that I always keep the SSL on. So I don't need to enable this from here on my website is always on SSL for all the URLs. System tweaks. Let's see what are the settings here. So once we enable that, let's see the configuration. So you can definitely go ahead and disable directory browsing. People just cannot go ahead and enter the directory name and see all the files in there. So there are a few things that you can check here and most of the time you do not need that. If you know what you are doing, then you, there are definitely few options to check. Especially here it is PHP in uploads. You do not want anyone to add a PHP file in your upload section. Never ever have that. You do not want anyone to add PHP files in your upload section because most of the time it's the images in that folder. So you can disable adding PHP files in that directory because most of the time hackers add PHP files in your upload folder. So I think security is a little smart on that part because they know that people use that folder to add suspicious files there. So good to enable that. So let's click on save settings. 
WordPress solves, leave it as it is, you do not have to change that. WordPress tweaks, let's see the settings. Once again, you do not have to do anything here. It's all high-end technical stuff, so leave it as it is. And all right, so we are now done with the features for the free plugin. The rest of the features are for pro version. So I think you will never gonna need that. You can have other plugins that can do the things for you. But still, you do not need these options to be enabled on your website. The things that we have enabled here using iTheme security are more than enough to secure your website. And I have never faced any issue after adding iTheme security about hacking and all. So iTheme security does a very good job securing your WordPress website and you can easily rely on that. So this is how you can use just one plugin that is iTheme security and secure your WordPress website. At this point, I would really encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel because in the next video, I'll show you how you can take automatic backups for your WordPress website. Along with that, make sure you check these two videos right here. I'm sure you will find a great value in it. Till then, goodbye and I'll see you in the next one.